Hi everyone. Have you ever needed to make a complex decision in your business or in your project, or even needed to explain a complex process or a complex decision to other people in your project or your business? One of the best ways to do this is with decision tree analysis. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at the cost or the benefit of certain decisions or certain actions, but we also show the probability of those things happening. So what's the, the cost or the benefit and what's the probability of that happening? And then we can look at the end of that decision path and see what the, the, the actual outcome is, whether it's positive or negative, and what the percentage uh, probability of that happening is as well. So as you can see in this particular one, we're looking at buying or upgrading a warehouse, for example. So maybe we want to build a new plant and that costs us 120,000, uh, or maybe we just want to upgrade the existing plant and that's only 50,000. So if we spend the 120,000, then we get strong demand, then we make a benefit of 200,000. And then let's say we have a 70% chance here of being able to meet that demand. And all in all, if we add all this together, so $120,000 cost plus the 200,000, then those two things together will give us 80,000. And that's our final outcome here. And the probability of that happening is these chance nodes uh, multiplied together. So let's quickly do that one as well. If we say uh, 0.6, which is 60%, multiplied by 0.7, which is 70%, then the outcome there is 42% or 0.42. So this top one has a benefit of $80,000 and it has a 42% chance of happening. So it's looking quite good. And we can do that for all of these different uh, decision pathways and decision nodes to see which one has the best probability and the best outcome. And then we can show others how we've come to those decisions. Let's quickly check out the other pathways as well, just so that we get a really good feel for decision tree analysis. And if we were upgrading our plant, looking down here, we've got minus $50,000, uh, but then strong demand again, would give us a benefit of $120,000. So all in all, that gives us an outcome of $70,000. So that's our outcome at the end here. But what's the probability of that happening? Well, we've got 60% and then it's 60% on these two uh, chance nodes. So to do that, we say equals 0.6 multiplied by 0.6. And the probability for that particular path is 36% probability of happening. So that's how we figure all of this out. And we're going to create this in Excel and uh, so show you how to create these particular things in Excel so you can use them to help others and help yourself in your business as well. Let's get into it. Now, of course, the first thing we're going to do is just set up the heading rows and set up the coloring of our sheet. And we might just speed this up ever so slightly as we go along so we can get into the really good stuff of creating the decision tree itself. Now that we've got that heading all put together, let's create all of the icons and items that we're going to need to use for our decision tree chart. First of all, let's put a nice thick border around this particular one. And we can actually even go to view and turn the grid lines off because we'll be working mostly with shapes and text boxes as well. The first one we're going to do is go to insert shapes and a circle for our chance node. So this is the probability of something happening. If we hold a shift and, uh, and create that circle, then that's going to create the right, uh, you know, just a beautifully proportioned circle for us as well. Now let's create our other shapes really quickly before we do label them. And the fill for this one, we actually want to be just a nice green. And the triangle color for the end of our decision pathway is just going to be a nice light blue. And now we've got all of these put together. We're just going to go insert a text box and insert the text box here. And now we can name these. So this is our chance node, which is our probability. And for this, we want to just put this over to the left and uh, in the middle as well. And we just want to uh, format this particular shape really quickly so that we can reduce the margins down to zero. And that way, there won't be any extra uh, crossover for that one. And we also want to look at the shape and just get rid of the outline. So we want no outline for this so that it is just by itself. We also want to have no fill for this. So let's get rid of the fill. Now that's just our text box. 
Now if we copy that down, control C and control V, then the second one is our decision. And the third one is our end of branch. Now we also need to figure out the decision that we're going to be making. And to do that, we just want a normal square. We don't really need an outline for this shape either, uh, but we do want to right click and edit the text. And this is our decision to be made. With our text, if we say resize to fit the text, then that will just make it a little bit easier on us as well. The next one we want is the action with the benefit or cost attached to it. First of all, what we're going to do is select a free form shape. So if we select that, if we just click, uh, click once and then hold shift, then it will actually create a nice straight line for us. And then it'll create a, create a nice straight line for us the other way if we really want to. Press escape to finish that off. And now we have uh, a, a beautiful little section that we can fill out with text if we want to. So we can edit the text of this as well. And we can say, this is our example. Of course, we want to reduce those margins for this one as well, but we still need to put the cost associated with it. And to do that, we're just going to insert a text box as well. So if we insert a nice text box here, and now we can put our, maybe it's $100,000 for example, and all we need to do is just format that in the right way. So have no fill, have no outline. And now we've got uh, the action with the benefit or the cost. If we hold shift and select those two together, right click, and if we say group, then now that is actually grouped together. And that's something that we can, uh, even though we can edit it uh, differently for each different section, if we move it, it's going to move in the same way. We might just increase the weight of that, of that line ever so slightly. And now that's looking really good. Lastly, we do need things like the probability. Uh, so let's just steal this little section here. If we control C and control V to copy, then now we can say this is our, let's say it's 100% probability. And that's, uh, that's something we can use later on for our chance nodes. But we also need a connector. So we'll just insert a shape again, just a normal regular line for this one over here. Uh, and just color this in the right way and make it the right size that will suit your particular sheet. And now we've got all of the working bits and pieces that we need in order to create our first decision tree pathway. All we do now is select these different items that we want to use, control C and control V, and now we can get started. For this one, we want to buy or upgrade. Uh, and again, this could be any decision that we actually want to use. It could be anything we like. We still want a connector here. So we'll control, uh, control C and control V. And this one actually connects directly to our items, which is very, very handy. Now we need to make a decision. So we select our decision node and this one will connect right up to our decision node at the same time. So it's starting to look good already. Now the second things we want to do are actions with benefit or cost. So we grouped this one together earlier. All we need to do is control C and control V and copy that one and we'll paste it again. Now we're going to have two different pathways here. So we just need our connector, connect that one up again. And as you can see, it connects right up to these things. So it's very, very handy. And this one will connect again. And this one we can say, this is our building a new plant. And let's say the cost was minus $120 thousand dollars which is what we saw if it's a negative color i usually just prefer to to make it a little bit red uh, if it's if it's if it's a cost but if it's a benefit we can make it green just so that it does stand out now the next part we want is a chance so what is the probability or the chance that something is going to happen and we need chance nodes for this little section but we also need our connectors as well so this will connect directly to our chance node, which is so wonderful. And now if we've got our, the next part in our path, we can take that probability that we set up, copy and paste that, and bring that up here into, our, into the section that we want. So let's just increase the size here and turn this into a bit more of a box. Now, what we want is for this to actually stand out. So we want to actually give this just a, a background of a white. So now, that one will stand out. And if we say that that's a 60% probability and this one is 40% probability maybe. And if it's the same for our other ones down here, 
As you can see, our decision tree is really starting to fill out and look quite amazing. Now the only other thing that we really want to do is put an end of branch and for that end of branch we'll usually just put that right at the end but you could have many more decisions in between here uh, the beginning and the end of your decision tree end of branch and now you and I have created this beautiful decision tree analysis uh, in Excel and it looks absolutely fantastic and you can take it and use it and create it with your teams straight away to get the benefits of complex decisions and showing those to others and how those decisions have been made. I've really had a great time spending this time with you creating this sheet and I hope you've enjoyed yourself as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.